Here's the setup we have for RDLs today. We're using the Mutant Metal uh, Jacobs. They're actually a snapback roller, so that part actually can move like a monolift, which is pretty cool. And we're using the Rogue Seal Row Bar, which has that bend in the middle. Now, we're using this for RDLs because that bend, when you angle the bar away from you a little bit, it allows you to bring the bar closer to your body, which lowers, uh, well, lessens lower back pain. So Meredith is getting ready to do her set, so I thought I'd introduce it, and then she'll show off. Sure. <laughs> yes. So I wanted to share this because if you have access to a cambered bar, this would be a great option for RDLs. Uh, it really helps to reduce lower back pain. You can isolate the glutes a little bit more. We've really enjoyed this variation, so I thought it would be fun to share. Yeah, that's true. So we're using the wrist straps, uh, number one, so that way your grip doesn't fail or become an issue, because we actually want to be focusing on the glutes and hamstrings. And then number two is whenever you're creating twist in the bar, so that way the camber sticks out, you wedge against the torque that's created in that wrist strap. So it's a good way, you can see there how she has it set up now. This allows her hands to be closer to her center of gravity. So rather than everything having to be forced out in front, she can bring it where it's comfortable for her, and it's actually kind of brushing her thighs. That is allowing the lessened lower back stress, but it still allows her to isolate and squeeze her hamstrings and glutes, which you can see there are working very well. So really cool option, again, if you have that, uh, is a great way to improve the quality of your RDLs, which is the Romania deadlifts. You can use that for uh, stiff leg deadlifts as well, but we're doing RDLs to focus more on the glute development, specifically the lower glutes. Awesome job. Uh. <laughs>